The U.S. Postmaster General defended today his agency's ability to handle an expected flood of mail-in ballots this November. We'll scour every every plant today, you know, the, each night leading up to Election Day. Louis DeJoy testified before Senate lawmakers during a virtual hearing. DeJoy's two months on the job had been marred by controversy after he implemented, then suspended changes, including the removal of blue mail boxes and a reduction in mail sorting machines. Democrats have accused the Trump administration of using the Postal Service to sabotage the upcoming election. DeJoy's testimony isn't sitting well with Chicago postal workers. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey is live in Kenwood. But Megan, some postal workers told you they're embarrassed by the mail delays. Right, Erica, they say the ins and outs of the delivery system, including the inefficiencies that they say were caused by measures put in place by this postmaster general. I've been off the floor actually doing it. June Harris has worked for USPS for 36 years. But you've never seen her delivering letters to your doorstep. We are taking the mail, transporting it from the machines over to the dock areas and to the vans and the trailers so it can get out for delivery. This week, the CBS2 investigators confirmed the removal of at least two dozen high-volume mail sorting machines in our area. Harris has seen the impact firsthand. She also says changes to transportation schedules. Some of my dock workers are telling me they have a small window in order to get mail on the truck have led to trucks going out that are 80% empty. To me, that's a waste. She tells me she feels defensive when her friends and neighbors complain about recent mail delays. And I understand their frustration, but we're frustrated too. The workers are the ones... Frustration shared by workers and labor organizations who rallied outside the post office on 46th and Cottage Grove. Last... 10 years. Today, Postmaster General Louis DeJoy, a major Republican donor and close ally of President Trump, said the Postal Service is fully capable of delivering election mail on time. But some of his testimony struck the wrong chord. DeJoy said that replacing the machines was not necessary. DeJoy also did not plan to replace blue collection boxes that have gone missing as well. Since my arrival, we removed 700, uh, uh, 700 post. Uh, po collection boxes, of which I had no idea uh, uh, that that was a process. While these employees said they appreciate a halt to any further changes until after the election, they're nervous about November. DeJoy said they're doubling down on election mail efforts. He said he's voted by mail for years, and he thinks the American public should be able to vote by mail, too. Live in Kenwood, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.